Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So it is Sunday morning and I feel like the best gift I can give myself is some groceries at the front door. So as you guys could tell, we haven't even really gotten ready for the day. We're just getting up and getting the groceries sorted and then we will be starting our day. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a messy kitchen grocery haul. So I just kind of bought things that we just need in general. Um, last night, I just did not have the strength to uh, make a grocery plan for the week. So I just got things that we're gonna need regardless of grocery plan. And so hopefully today I can go in and place another order to fill in anything that's missing. All right, here we got some hand soap because we were running low. Then I have some body wash I wanna try. I, I tried their other body wash. It was like coconut and vanilla. That was really good. And so I just wanted to try something new. I also have been using their deodorant. It's one of my favorite like natural deodorant. This is a lotion that we use called Vanna Cream. My kids, they have like eczema issues. So this one is really very moisturizing, very thick and a little bit pricey for lotion, but totally worth it for us. Then I got some Benadryl. Um, you know, you can never have too much around the house when you have kids with food allergies here We got some bananas and then here we're running low on soap for our dishwasher that will be replaced soon We got some grapes and apples. These are things I was pricing to school with the kids We got some just corn chips some little tangerines and another soap for the dishwasher here we got graham crackers and some Cheerios. I usually pack this up and send the Cheerios each morning to school with the girls so they can munch on it while they're waiting for their breakfast. Cause they eat, I pack their breakfast and send it to school. So if they want to munch in the car or something, they can have this. And then these are just some graham crackers, also just for snacks and stuff at home and at school. We eat a lot of sandwiches. Um, the kids, if I don't make a hot breakfast in the morning, the kids will just eat like a sun butter and jelly sandwich. Then we send sandwiches to school for my oldest. I have some cold coffees that I want to try. The one that I normally get was out of stock. Actually, there's two and they were both out of stock. So I figured I would try something new just so I can have a backup when that happens in the future. So I've been just drinking it cold in my little mason jar with creamer. And I've just been really enjoying that this week. So um, I got the stoke, stoke, stock, whatever. And, um, this one from Starbucks. My oldest son, he takes his lunch to school, so I have these orange juices so he can have one to pack every day. Um, these are some paper towel. And then this is sun butter. You guys, this stuff costs $6 a jar, but you know, it's not peanuts. We have peanut allergies in this house, and I don't feel like it's always been this expensive. I feel like it was like $5 and the price just went up, but it is what it is. We gotta have it. And then here we have some pork sausages. I feel like on the days where I can, I really enjoy making like a quick hot breakfast for the kids. Um, and this is something that is really quick to just throw on the stove. And then you can never have too many chicken nuggets. This is mainly just if I'm having a rough day, things are not going according to plan. I can always toss that in the oven. And then here we have apple juice. The kids really enjoy that. And then I like to get the orange juice. I usually get the one with vitamin D. Um, and I guess I didn't do that this time. I like to get the vitamin D one because my kids don't take dairy products. So this is just another way to sneak in some extra vitamin D. And then we have some crackers. Once again, just easy things to put into lunch bags. Over here we have some Skinny Pop. Now I usually like to get the ones from um, Costco or from Sam's Club because there's like a ton of them that come in a pack, but I may or may not place on order this week so this is just nice to have and it doesn't have like dairy or butter or anything like that and then here you guys you can never go wrong with packing a good old sandwich for school especially if my son doesn't want like leftovers or anything like that and we also have like this hawaiian bread that we got from aldi's that doesn't have any egg in it so we'll put this on top of regular bread or that hawaiian bread and then my daughter janelle loves these little clubhouse cookies or cookies crackers and then Lastly, we got some more fruit. The kids, they used to love blueberries and then they kind of had a phase where they weren't eating them. And so I just decided to pick them up again to see what they thought. And then strawberries is a hit with everyone. So I usually 
dice these up and send them to school for my daughters and my son. So this is about three o'clock in the same day and I decided that I would go ahead and start dinner. My husband told me that he would be home from his trip around three. So I felt like if I got the food ready, then I would be able to just relax for the rest of the night once he got home. My little girl, she is so sweet and she always wants to help me out. So that was so cute with her trying to help me with the spices. And here she says she's trying to help me with the, the dishes. So who can refuse the help around the house? So I was making some chicken and rice for dinner and I put the chicken in the oven. So I was trying to wait for some of the juices from the chicken to start kind of collecting in the pan so that I can take some of those juices and put it into the water for my rice so that the rice could have a chicken flavor. So while I was waiting for that to happen, I was like, girl, you better work on some of these routines so you don't have to worry about it later. So if you guys have been on my channel, for like any length of time, you guys know what my top priorities are in terms of daily routines. I like to do something with the dishes. I like to do something with the laundry. And then I like to do something with my hot spots. And then once those three things are under control, then I start to worry about all the other types of cleaning in the house. My justification for this is that those three types of cleaning, like if you neglect them, they tend to get out of control the easiest and they're also good gateway habits because for me, if my kitchen is clean, I don't see laundry in weird places and most of the clutter is put up, it just motivates me to keep going. So here, I felt like the house kind of got a little crazier than normal with our daily clutter and stuff. So I'm just going around the house and just picking up random stuff that has just been spread across the house. I'm really being mindful to not venture into full-blown decluttering projects, just like basic general tidying that needs to get done after a weekend of being at home. So I'm pretty sure I went to check on the chicken and it wasn't ready yet, so I'm just continuing to work on my hot spots. Um, I consider this little area to be a hot spot. It gets really messy really fast and we just drop random stuff up there. So my daughter is helping me wipe it down. That's so cute. She was trying to learn how to spray the spray bottle. And so yeah, it's always so cool to see how much you can get done while you're waiting for something else. Um, Typically, I would do this evening routine kind of closer in the night, but I was like, well, since I'm waiting for this, let me just go ahead and get it taken care of now. And yay, solo momming adventures are over. As you can see, daddy and grandma are home. And this is my cue to exit and to go and take a break and get some self-care time in for myself. So thank you guys so much for watching Vlogmas Day 5. I will see you guys tomorrow.